Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 20th of March 1890, Kaiser Wilhelm II of Germany formally accepted Otto von Bismarck's resignation. The resignation had been demanded by the Kaiser a few days earlier and was submitted on the 18th. Bismarck's exit from office two days later ended his decades-long domination of German and European politics and ushered in the new age of Wilhelmian Weltpolitik. As Minister-President and Foreign Minister of Prussia, Bismarck had overseen the unification of Germany in the years up to 1871. He then continued as Chancellor of Germany for almost two decades, throughout which Germany dominated European politics and controlled the balance of power to ensure peace. However, the death of Kaiser Wilhelm I, which was quickly and unexpectedly followed by the death of his son, Frederick III, led to the young and relatively inexperienced Wilhelm II taking the throne. Rather than allow his Chancellor to govern as he had done for the previous few decades, Wilhelm preferred to rule as well as reign, which led to confrontations between the two men in their tussle for control. The situation came to a head in early 1890 when they disagreed over social policy. While Bismarck was keen to introduce permanent anti-socialist laws, Wilhelm preferred to be more moderate. The stark difference in their positions became most obvious when Bismarck said he sought a violent confrontation in order to suppress the socialists. Wilhelm later took offence at Bismarck negotiating a new political alliance without his knowledge. With their relationship in tatters, Wilhelm insisted that the 75-year-old Bismarck submit his resignation. He was succeeded by Leo von Caprivi, and then dedicated the rest of his life to writing his memoirs. Thank you.